This is Miss Archduchess, a black woman who's proud to be black. Um, I want to talk to you about the point is that on my channel, I don't disrespect my subscribers or my commenters because I believe that communication should flow and in order for us to get through some of our issues and concerns as black people, the only way we're going to do that is if we actually allow conversations to flow. The only time I really block people is when they just come on the channel just completely, just acting completely like an idiot and use a very, very disrespectful language. So with that said, I'm going to read you what actually took place that um, pr provoked me to do this video. On Mr. Superboy's video, I just happened to watch one of them, and I watched a few of them. He's talking about the Trayvon Martin case, and I made one comment on his channel. I don't know this guy. I made one channel, one comment on his channel, and someone, this guy named Black Law, said, "Sounds like Harvey has a crush on Elizabeth Hasselbeck. It doesn't have shit to do with black women." How are you all pro-black liking white women? Now, eight people thumbs his comment up. So then, Mr. Superboy says to this guy, and look at how rude he is to his, his uh, commenter, idiot. And I don't, I'm not going to stoop to this guy's level. I do write the word, but I don't feel comfortable saying the word at, on, in this venue. This guy says, idiot, I like P. Don't pull that pro-black shit on me. If a naked woman stood in front of you, white, black, or whatever, you would not turn it down. Some of you kill me when you when you lie like you would not. I'm for my people, but I'm not gonna pretend that I wouldn't hit it. Let me say this again, I like P. I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. No, it's not, it's Gets gross. the people going. This other guy tells him, I agree, Harvey. No, this guy's comment doesn't matter. I'm just skipping it, and I know you can see this. What matters is that I came down, coming down here to FM, FM's comments. He says, Harvey isn't pro-black, and you are right. You can't be truly pro-black and be laying down with whites. Harvey is just a black dude on YouTube stating his opinions. And I said to that, right. The comment about being heterosexual and liking P is a black male generation X way of saying, I am not gay. There is a paranoia about being considered gay. So many black men have decided that it is better to declare that they like all P than to have an, any loyalty to their own race of women. It's his choice, but the comment is so typical of black males from the 90s hip hop era. You'd never hear any other male feeling the need to say this all P stuff. Only Americans, and by that I meant all black Americans. Well, that really hurt this guy's feelings because his next comment to me says, Get the fuck out of here. This video or my comments had nothing to do about being gay. It's about people standing with others and men denying what type of woman they would sleep with. When a brother is honest, he is attacked. And he says after that, go troll. I, I guess he's saying go troll another brother's channel. <clears throat> the thing is, I don't know this guy. I have been on YouTube watching a lot of people's videos. So I don't have anything personally against this guy. But if you notice, his comment to me was immediately... Verbal abuse, immediate profanity. Um, he, he must have been enraged by what I said. I really got under his skin, which is nice to know. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, if you're that weak, I love the fact that I can get under you, you, you weak black men's um, skin so easily. And, um, you know, and there seems to be this double standard that I want to point out to you also. So there's another guy who comes under up under Superboy's comment and says, don't bother with this bitch. This chick is very and typically hypocritical. She likes that pro-black shit, but has a video named Black Women Do It Better about white black about black women being in interracial relationships. I despise hypocrites. I don't like hypocrisy. And while the vast majority of people usually prefer their own, even we blacks are doing good in the, this category with 89% black men married to black women. Let's not lie and pretend men aren't attracted to at least physically. It's how God made us all. So there's just a lot of problems with these black men who have these, uh, I, 
for me, there's a lot of hypocrisy in what that that person, Super Black Dragon, is saying. For one, you're cursing like a sailor, and yet you're talking about God in the same paragraph. The other thing is, you are not willing to see that Superboy is just. If I'm hypocritical because I made the observation that black women are able to date and not bash black men, does that make me a hypocrite? Really? Okay, now, and not anywhere on my channel have I advised black women to date white American men. Not anywhere on my channel have I promoted interracial dating. But yet, just the pure observation that, that black women are handling their interracial marriages much better than a lot of black men, I stand beside that, and I stand behind that comment. So whoever doesn't like the fact that I observed that, okay, it's an observation. And unfortunately, if you don't like that, it's probably because you know that it's true. The other thing is this. Superboy is clearly making a lot of videos about the Trayvon Martin case, but he can't even see that if you continue to get upset about what the white system, even though the, the guy, <clears throat> Zimmerman, might be Hispanic, mixed, whatever. He's pretty much white. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say he's white. I'm not getting into all this 20% this or that. The dude is white. So if you're making all of this commentary about a, black, a young black kid being treated like an animal by a white person, but yet you feel it's appropriate on your channel to continue to promote the fact that you want to screw and sleep with white women? Why do black men feel the need to continuously promote their sexual interests with white women, even at the most inopportune times, even at the most inappropriate times? I mean, going, being able to say that you're a man and you like you, you, you know, you adore different races or you're attracted to beauty. I get it. I hear you. But it seems like when black women even so much as comment on white men, it just makes black men, it makes them fall apart. And they become very enraged and they can't handle it. And the conversation just flips into you're a bed wench or you're, you're a hypocrite. But yet they can sit there and stroke white women's egos all day long or stroke their own self. It's just, it's just disgusting, and I'm gonna tell you, 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 some of you uh, people right now, and so especially some of the black women, black men from Generation X on down have no loyalty to you as black women. A lot of people may question why I support Monty, but I support Monty because Monty is married to a black woman. A lot of black men can't achieve. A lot of black men just can't handle showing loyalty and so when I see that in a black man I see you know I see I see Monty and I see other black men who are married and have been married for a long time to a black woman and they're doing their thing to, to be with their wives and their families of course I'm gonna support that of course I'm gonna endorse that what's not to endorse what I don't endorse is hearing stupid guys like Superboy and Tommy Sotomayor sit on YouTube all day and and fantasize and masturbate over other pe other people's women Get out of here. You guys are weak. And this is why I advise any all black women, if you're if you're generation X on down, please don't think twice about dating interracially or internationally. And I'm gonna say not interracially with white men. <clears throat> I'm talking other races of color. Uh, you should be looking at the globe. You know, those are do you know how many they try to make us feel deprived? over the men here in America, like, ooh, so it's not that many to go around. Forget the ones over here, because what you're going to get is a bunch of bitter, angry, hypocritical black men who always got their eye on you and always got their eye on the white woman. Who needs that? I find that men from, black men from other nations, especially Africa, they have a lot more compassion. And I know a lot of you going to say, ooh, there's black Africans who date white women. If you only knew how many Africans really were in Africa, and you could see how they how they procreate, you would realize that's a drop in the bucket compared to black America, where it's only a few of us here, and yet the few of us here, we have no pride in sticking with our own. 
And yes, I do believe a lot of black men have resorted to, I like all these women of the whole world because they're just a bunch of homophobic, psychotic, paranoid freaks. Yes, I said it. You guys are, you know, and a lot of them were raised wrong. Their mothers told them, son, it's okay to date the whole rainbow. You know, be colorblind. You, you know, as long as you find love, that's what I want for you. And so these dummies have interpreted their mothers encouraging them to be colorblind into I can like whoever the hell I want to like and not have any loyalty to my own women. So any black women, if you have young boys, you need to teach them to like black women because men are like robots. If you program them, they will do what you program them to do. So if you program your son to like black women, you have to show him all of the ranges. Make sure that he understands that it's important to like Black, the darkest black woman you can find. If you have to find a picture, because by the time your son gets to be in high school or college, it won't be any left. But start with the blackest woman you can find, the darkest one you can find, and work your way up. Make sure your son understands that the darker, the better. Because you need to start with that, because the ability for a black man to work himself away from that in America and become a sellout, is so great so you need to start with the darkest start with the original people show them beautiful pictures point out beautiful dark-skinned women as y'all are hanging out together because these men have nobody teaching them how inappropriate their commentary is on white women it's inappropriate yet you sit and cry all day about how the system is treating you and you've got time to sit there and masturbate over some white woman even still then no wonder black men you are being slaughtered daily because you can't stop thinking with the head in your pants i am so not impressed you know a lot of these guys they put themselves on pedestals as if they are more attractive than the women that they come from or they're more this or they're more that if you notice, and I'm talking, let me say this to Generation X women, if you notice, most of the men in that generation, they don't look that good. They're not that attractive. Um, they're, they're fat, they're overweight, they've got body fat, what else? They've got kids, they've got, they're divorced, they never married, and they're out here whoring around and talking about how all these other races are so attractive and how they want to screw them. You're not losing anything if you leave black American men alone is what I'm coming down to. So the only black American men that I endorse are black men who are who are loyal to black women if you don't meet you a black man in america who is on that you need to run fast i mean you need to do like a flojo type of thing you need to be like you need to be like burning the highway up okay because all you're going to hear is a bunch of bitter conversations from a black man who has no true loyalty to you he has no loyalty to the to the tr idea of marriage or family these guys their heads are screwed up most of them have multiple personality disorders and then they get mad when people expose them they have multiple personality disorders and they want everybody to be able to keep up with all of their different perspectives being with a bunch of men who don't really have the 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 morality and the loyalty i am not having that you're not missing out on anything. These men abuse every opportunity that they have when it comes down to black women because they want to whore their way to the top with everybody. They want to prove it. But you know what? You black men that have no loyalty, that you better get in when the fitting is good instead of waiting until, you, until your ass gets about 40 or 50 years old and then you try to run to some woman and you want her to take your little leftover trash I don't think so women we outlast them in that respect and if they're too dumb to recognize what you have while while the going's going let them eat cake because they'll be washed up used up and you don't want to get washed up used up man trust me you don't want to washed up burnt out bitter self-hating i could keep going but that I had to let you guys know about because I'm really tired of these arrogant jerks on YouTube and their disrespect and their um, their weakness. One thing I never liked in a man is weakness. So that's my commentary on this on this punk Superboy and the rest of the Generation Xers and the Generation Y 
folks who are following in, in these these fool's footsteps. I'm out. So I ball so hard, motherfuckers wanna find me. That shit crack. That shit crack. That shit crack. I ball so hard, motherfuckers wanna find me. That shit crack. That shit crack. That shit crack.